system is good to go right now. Okay, let's listen. Here it goes. And it's just becoming a microscopic little dot now, Orly. From here, that looks like a success. It is, and the plan is for it to go into low orbit, Allison, about 155 miles above Earth. Our camera continues to track at 800,000 pounds of thrust. As SpaceX uh, founder Elon Musk was saying, the first 75 seconds of this ascent uh, after liftoff are the most treacherous and dangerous moments, he said, for uh, the Falcon or 9. There are a lot of things that can go wrong, and it really is the same thing with the shuttle system. Uh, they always talk about how the ascent, those first uh, several seconds shortly after takeoff, are really some of the hardest and some of the most difficult and some of the most strenuous uh, for, for NASA, and the same thing here. Uh, the plan is, if all goes according to plan, Allison, that the Falcon 9 would go into a lower orbit, about uh, 155 miles above Earth. Also, this is important to note, uh, I can tell you that um, SpaceX was awarded federal funds about $1.6 billion back in 2008, close to $2 billion. And the government, by giving the, that, the company that amount of money, said to a degree it had great confidence that indeed SpaceX would be able to sort of be the next leg in space exploration. The plan is right now for SpaceX, SpaceX again, if all goes to plan, to be able to, be able to produce at least 12 of these unmanned cargo ships by the year 2015. The founder, Elon Musk of SpaceX, says he could probably be able to do this a little bit sooner, but he doesn't have yet a contract with the federal government. This really is a, a today, what's happening today, is a mission about collecting as much data as they possibly can. Huh. Uh, it sounds like uh, an ambitious plan. Uh, Orlando, stand by. Let's show yes. our, our audience. Okay. Ooh, let's watch this computer image for a moment that's on your screen this is a view from space of the Earth. The computer seems to be resetting there. And you can see, obviously, the arc there of the Earth from the uh, Falcon 9 rocket ship. Uh, Orlando, in a second, I want to replay for our audience in case they turned away for a moment the, the launch again. And you and I will be quiet as we watch this dramatic moment. The system is good to go right now.
So, Orlando, when will they know if this was, in fact, a successful mission? When is it expected back? Well, that's a good question. They are planning to leave it up in orbit, and when will it come back? They haven't told us. This is one of the great interesting parts of this story. The backstory is this. We are in the business of giving you information. We collect it as best as we can, and we give it to you directly. Here has been uh, the rub, if you will. SpaceX, we have asked very direct questions of them, and they have not been very forthcoming. They say that they don't want to give out too, information, too much information because they don't want their competitors, there's a handful, maybe two or three, to actually see and hear and understand their timetable. They think they could use that against them. Secondly, SpaceX says that there are some things that are proprietary, and they don't want to give those, uh, those uh, bits of information away also. It is so different from how NASA does it. NASA has a very, very specific playbook, Allison. We have not experienced that today. I was speaking with some of the PR folks handling the SpaceX PR, public relations. They say give it time. SpaceX will be better at giving out more information. Mm. All right. Well, Anna Salinas, thanks so much for joining us today. It's been fun to uh, okay. watch this experiment with you.